Everybody, Parker from Dust Prep Champions here, and today I want to do another GD math video. This one has to do with order of operations, also known as PEMDAS, and this is very important for the GED test. So let's get right into it today. So when you're solving math questions, like the example on screen here, well, you see that we've got multiple different operations going on here. For example, we've got an exponent, we've got stuff in the parentheses, and we've got multiplication going on over here. And so how do you know where to start? What should I do first? Should I do the multiplication? Should I do this exponent? How do I get started? Well, that's what we need these rules for. These are our order of operations rules, also known as PEMDAS. Okay, and PEMDAS stands for parentheses, which is what the P stands for. E is for exponents or square roots. M is for multiplication. D is for division. A is for addition. And S is for subtraction. So another way to remember PEMDAS is to think of, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I know it sounds very silly, but that's kind of an old school method for remembering this, or you can just remember it as PEMDAS, whatever works. But these rules tell us the order to do the operations in when we go from left to right on a math problem. So again, the P is for parentheses or grouping symbols that enclose operations. And there's some nuance with this that we'll come back to but for now, just remember that P stands for parentheses or other symbols that enclose operations. So it could also be like, for example, absolute value. So if you're not sure what absolute value is, that's okay. I'll link to my video on that down below. But let's say that instead of this parentheses here, we had absolute value. So absolute value just kind of looks like these little bars here. And so you would treat that the same as you would parentheses. You could also see brackets. Right, so we could have five minus one squared in the brackets. And again, you would want to treat those with the same, you'd want to treat those the same way as you would for the parentheses. Let me clear this out here so we've got some room to work. So for parentheses, you also, when there's multiple sets of parentheses, you want to start with the, mo the innermost first and then work your way out. All right, and so the last thing about parentheses, the last little nuance here is that well, there's actually two more points here, but I want to make one now and we'll come back to the second one next. So the point here is that the parentheses have to be in closing operations. So what we see here is we see that this set of parentheses encloses this subtraction, this 5 minus 1. Okay. However, this over here, this we see parentheses here, but these parentheses are just showing us that we're going to do a multiplication. We're going to multiply 2 times 6. Okay, so these would not come before parentheses, right? So this is this 2 and this 6 are in parentheses, but that's just for the purposes of doing the multiplication. Whereas this 5 minus 2, again, is being enclosed. So since it's enclosed by a parentheses, it's going to get priority in our order of operations. Okay, so everything else here is not nearly as nuanced. We've got our exponents or square roots, treat those the same way, and then multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So if we were going to solve this problem here, what we would do according to the PEMDAS rules is we would start with the P, what's inside of the parentheses. And again, we don't want to start with these numbers in the parentheses because the 2 and the 6 are just in parentheses to show multiplication, right? It's not, these aren't parentheses that are in closing operations. So we'd start with this 5 minus 1. So if we do that, we see 5 minus 1, that's going to be 4. And so we would then rewrite the problem as 4 squared minus 2 times 6. Okay, and so next what we would do is we would want to tackle that exponent, so 4 squared. So 4 squared is the same as 4 times 4, which is going to give us 16. And I'll again rewrite the problem here. So we now have 16 times 2 times 6. 16 minus 2 times 6. So now which are we going to do first? Are we going to try to do 16 minus 2 or are we going to do the negative 2 times 6? And we have to take into consideration that we've got this minus sign here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the multiplication first according to the order of operations rule. So we would do 2 times 6 which is 12. We therefore have 16 minus 12 which equals 4. Okay, so that's the basic rules here, and I think the best way to understand this is to just go into a couple examples. But the last thing I wanted to mention about these, this parentheses thing is that a division bar is also going to count just as you would a parentheses. And so let me clear this problem out here, and let me just give you an example of what I mean by this. So let's say that we've got 30, and let's say that we're going to divide by 2 plus 1, 
Okay, and then we're going to multiply by three, say for example here. Okay, so how would we treat this? Well, like I said, the the division bar here is going to be treated just like a just like you would a set of parentheses, and that might be kind of confusing. So here's what I mean. So think of this division bar, right? Think of there being parentheses on the top, which is the numerator, the numerator of the fraction and also parentheses around what's going on here in the bottom. Okay, meaning the two plus one, okay, times three. All right, so hopefully this, this now would be obvious that what we want to do is do what's inside the parentheses first. So therefore you want to do two plus one first, and so two plus one gives us three, and then you're left with 30 divided by three times three. And the threes here are just going to cancel out, but that's not really the point. The point is just to show you that when you've got this multiplication bar, just imagine that there's parentheses around everything going on in the top and everything going on in the bottom. Let me just give one more quick example. I mean, you guys are pretty fast. You're probably already getting it, but let me just do one more point here to drive this home. So let's say that we've got maybe 11 divided by 3 minus 2. And I'm going to use easy numbers here just for the purposes of demonstrating this. And so then we're going to add this to, let's say, I don't know, 2 or 22. Okay, so what do we want to do first here, right? Do we want to do this? Well, we know that usually we would want to do division first, but in this case, we have to, since we've got this division bar here, right, we've got to think of it in, as if we've got these parentheses around everything on the top and parentheses on everything on the bottom. Okay, so now that we've done this, we know that in our PEMDAS rules, the order of operations, we would start with what's inside of the parentheses, so therefore we're going to start with 3 minus 2. All right, so we would do 11 over 3 minus 2, which is 1. So we've got 11 over 1 plus 22, which is just 11 plus 22. Okay, and so the point is just to understand that, right, that when you've got this division bar, you, again, you just treat it like you would as if there were parentheses around everything on top of the division bar and everything on the bottom of the division bar, and then you would give those priorities because P, or parentheses, comes first. Okay, so now let's go ahead and we'll look at some examples here, and if you're not familiar with this order of operations rules, you'll definitely want to kind of add some of this to your notes here. You can just copy all of this down on screen. This is all very, very important stuff to know for your exam. And let's get into some example problems here. Okay, here's the first example. Go ahead and pause the video and try this out on your own first. Okay, hopefully you had a chance to try this out, but if not, that's okay too. Let's go over it now. So what we want to do here is we're going to have to keep our PEMDAS in mind here. Our P, E, M, D, A, S. And so what we have to do here is we've got to first start with what's inside the parentheses here. And so you might be thinking, well, nothing is inside of the parentheses. We've got this one parenthesis here, but that's showing us multiplication between two times two. Well, remember that whenever you see a division bar, you want to treat everything on the top and on the bottom as if it's got parentheses around it. So I'm gonna draw in parentheses around it. Okay, so since we've got these parentheses here in the top and bottom, then we are going to to do 5 minus 2 first, right? So 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. All right, so we read the problem as 30 divided by 3 times 6 plus 2 times 2. Okay, so now what are we going to do first? We've got multiplication. We've got uh, 30 divided by 3. We've got multiplication here. We've got addition. Which comes first? Well, we know in according to PEMDAS, if we go from P to E, to M, we see that M or for multiplication and D for division, well, those come ahead of A, which is for addition. So we're going to do the multiplications and our divisions first here, right? So what we can do is we can simplify this down. Okay, so we can divide a 3 out of both the top and the bottom, and 30 divided by 3 gives us 10. 3 divided by 3 is just 1. So really, you don't even need to write that 1. Okay, times 6 plus 2 times 2. And we're just going to work left to right here. So we're going to do the multiplication first here. So we do 10 times 6, which is 60. Okay. And we leave the addition sign here because we want to do the multiplication over here. So 2 times 2 is 4. So we've got 60 plus 4, which is, of course, 64. Okay. Let's try out another example. 
Okay, here's the next example. Go ahead and pause the video and try this out on your own first. Okay, let's go through this. So what we want to do here again is we want to use our PEMDAS rules here. So we see that we've got exponents, we've got parentheses, we've got addition and subtraction. What do we do first? Well, according to PEMDAS, we want to start with the parentheses and the operations that are enclosed within the parentheses here, which would be our 1 plus 2 and 7 minus 5. Now, we want to work from left to right, so let's start with the 1 plus 2 first. So we can simply rewrite that now because 1 plus 2 is 3 as 3 squared plus 7 minus 5 cubed. Okay, and so next what we want to do is we're going to handle the second set of parentheses here. So 7 minus 5 is 2, 2 cubed is 8. And the reason that 2 cubed is 8 is because when you've got 2 cubed, okay, that's the same as 2 times 2 times 2. And we know that 2 times 2 is 4 times another 2 is 8. All right, and of course you can always use your calculator, but you shouldn't need it for this question. So 7 minus 5 is that gives us 2. And then I went ahead and I did that cube step, um, but let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let me copy this down here. All right, and so 3 squared is 9. And like I just said, we know that 2 cubed is going to be 8, and so the answer would be 17. All right, let's look at one more example here. Okay, final example. Go ahead, pause the video, try this on your own. Okay, so hopefully you got a chance to try this. Let's go over it now. So now what we see or is a set of brackets, and we've got a parenthesis in here. So again, we want to start with what's enclosed within the parenthesis first. But we want to, since we've got two sets here, right? We've got brackets and parentheses. We always want to start with the innermost set of parentheses here. So we're going to start with this 2 minus 1. And 2 minus 1 is just 1. So let me rewrite this. And on your test, you don't have to rewrite every single step like this, although it's certainly not a bad idea if you've got the time to do it. But I'm just going to write every step out here by hand to really drive the point home here. But as always, on your test, you that's up to you to decide if it's worth your time to recopy every single step. So, okay, we've got 2, and now we've got brackets here, and we've got 3 times 1, which is just 3, plus another 3. And so what we're going to do here next is we want to stay with, stick with what's inside of the parentheses. And so we would do 3 plus 3, which is going to be 6. And we've got this 2 out here. And so now we just treat this like a multiplication. And we know that 2 times 6 gives us 12. And just a, just a few take-home points here, and we'll wrap it up. So for PEMDAS, you really just have to remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses, exponents, or square roots, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And so for the P, we're not just talking about any old parentheses, right? So if you just see like 4 times 2, okay, that's these parentheses are just telling you to multiply. That's not telling you that you have to necessarily start with 4 times 2. Okay, but you always want to do the operations going from left to right following PEMDAS where, you know, you do what's inside the parentheses first and it could also be, in, instead of parentheses, an absolute value that's in closing operations or it could be a bracket, brackets that are in closing operations. And remember that the division bar may also be used as a grouping symbol and we've already seen an example of that. So, like if you've got, say, 2 plus 1 divided by, I don't know, 9, for example, Let's say that, you know, normally, and we're going to multiply by 10 maybe. Okay, so normally you would not want to start with addition, right? Because normally you would want to do the, you'd want to try to do the division here first. So it's like you're, you're trying to divide, you know, 10 divided by 9 or something like that. You usually want to start with division or multiplication. But in this case, right, since we've got this division bar, we've got to, Think of there being parentheses on top and on the bottom. So therefore, you wouldn't try to do a multiplication. You wouldn't try to do a division. You would start by doing what's in the parentheses here, which would be 2 plus 1, which would be 3 over 9. And I'm not going to solve the rest of the problem out, but I just wanted to show you that as, as an example so that you know what to do when you see that division bar. Okay, and so then other than that, you pretty much just work left to right. And if you've got multiple sets of parentheses, go with the innermost set of parentheses first. And just remember that exponents and square roots come next after your parentheses. And then you got your multiplication or division, and then your addition and subtraction would be last. All right, so 
these are the basics. They're very important to understand here. Please subscribe for more videos like this. I do make these videos often. Please give me a thumbs up. I'd really, really appreciate it. And also, if you want to see some more examples of this, maybe some more harder examples or more complex examples, just let me know down below, and then I'll make a video on that. So go ahead, guys, and good luck with your studying. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up down below. I really appreciate it, guys. Good luck, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.